Hey guys, just want you guys to give like a quick update on the work I've been doing behind the scenes with the engine. Um, so you might have seen I've worked on normal mapping in my last video, even though it's called bomb back in the video, which actually is normal mapping. Uh, so that's basically like a small tech demo. Um, so normally what I do if I want to uh, introduce like new features to the engine is make a small demo to just, you know, learn myself how it works and small make a small demonstration to actually show myself, um, you know, basically make it work before integrating it into the engine. But now it's integrated, I can now include the, like all the games I make with it, including Red Spectre. So just want to show you guys how that looks in the actual game. Um, so for those who don't know, so what normal Apex does, it adds a second texture to a uh, to a surface or to like a mesh uh, that includes the normal uh, vectors of the, that mesh. So instead of having like a single normal vector that's you know it's basically point one location all the way through, uh, you now basically have got uh, one single surface like more, many normals point in different directions, which gives the illusion of uh, depth or relief on the actual, actual surface, as you can see here. Um, so if like no light is shining upon it like now, it all looks flat as before. Uh, but once the sun comes around and light shines upon it, you can see there's like much more detail into the um, into the mesh without you know having to spend too much uh, GPU power to calculate these things. So this is relatively quick and looks pretty damn good. Um, you can see if, like on the floor here, you see like there's way more details, way more depth to uh, to the level, so it looks really, really nice. The only problem is that like with more graphical fidelity, you, the flaws and the ugliness of some part of level become more apparent. So if you look at this little cavern here, before I could get away with like this really blown up textures, just a bit of grey, some black spots, whatever, but now when the sun shines upon it, uh, you can clearly see it just looks so ugly. I mean, compared to the floor, which, you know, is really nice, the grey spots just looks absolutely hideous. Uh, and the same goes for the mountains. You can see here it's like really big, ugly patches. Um, so it basically comes down to me to improve the uh, texturing and UV mapping, which, you know, is not necessarily my greatest strength. I mean, generally spend very little time doing these things, just rather spend them on, you know, developing more features for the engine. Uh, but yeah, to make this all look good, like, the middle section is really, really nice. Like, really high fidelity, but then you get to, like, the edges, just super ugly, and the mountains in the background just, yeah, don't look good. Um, yeah, I mean, it's feel like some kind of, I don't know, like, cartoon map, uh, cartoon shading, or I don't know, toon shading, that kind of stuff. Cell shading, coop be acceptable but yeah it's not really looking going for so that definitely needs to change uh, but yeah so here you got like your normal mapping your blue mapping there's some uh, tone mapping going on as well to basically make sure certain light sources don't go out of control uh, but yeah I mean it's starting to look pretty damn good um, so the next few weeks I'll basically be improving the uh, the engine a bit more uh, collection map is still a thing that needs to be sorted in some areas can get stuck in. I mean, it has been improved since I moved to like the separation of, uh, separation of access inside my homebrew kind of uh, method to detect collisions. Uh, but several things are proven to, uh, yeah, to be done there. But yeah, pretty happy. That's just a little update and I'll keep you guys posted. Cheers.